Hello and welcome to a tutorial today on setting up your hotkeys on TeamSpeak 3. It's going to be very useful for all law enforcement and emergency services to be able to cycle to different channels very quickly without even having to look at your TeamSpeak. At some point you will learn exactly what keys you have hotkeyed and you no longer even really need to have this up or to drag yourself uh, unless you're going to a special channel. Let's go ahead guys, hit connections. We're going to join our server today. Connected. We're currently in our server. You see me in the welcome channel here. Go here to tools and options. I'm going to go ahead and delete these very quickly just so that uh, we have that set so I can show you guys how to do it. Don't mind these two. Do not set these two up. This is for me so that other folks um, that I'm in channels with don't interrupt the video. So I have myself muted and I also have my speakers also muted. So at this point, on the left side, find hotkeys. It'll bring you to this configuration here. Press add. Then on the bottom, show advanced actions. Now from there, I usually always start with my push to talk. Push to talk right here under self. Open it up. Double click default. I personally use right control, but you can set that for anything that you're going to use it for. Press OK. Now you see it sat here. We're good to continue. Press add again. Let's go show advanced actions. Switch the channel here. Open it. Open it. And then you'll see all the channels that are within this specific server. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set my primary RTO channel. I'm going to open it. And you want to double click on current server that's very important and then again you're going to set this i personally use f9 that's how i go into the primary rto channel from welcome when i start on patrol or on duty next add go advanced options you're going to repeat that again switch the channel switch the channel i'm going to go to rto 10 1 so if someone needs me in a 10 1 i can easily go over to 10 1 on current server and that's going to be my f10 key Again, do that action one more time, advance actions, switch the channel. I'm going to go to, let's say, 10-2. 1-10-2. That's what I have a set for. That's going to be my F11 key. Okay, now you can stop there. That's a pretty good, uh, you know, good chunk of the um, RTO. If you wanted to go farther down, let's say they have a tactical channel or whatever it is, I do not recommend using F12 because that is also your screenshot key, but you can utilize insert, delete, home, or end. <clears throat> page up, page down, just play around with it a little bit. Make sure they don't conflict with your game, but I know for a fact those three work very well. Then that way, I'll show you exactly how this works, guys. You guys can see me up in the welcome channel now. I'm 404T donor. Hit F9. We're in regular RTO. Very quickly, quick move. F10. We're down in 10-1 extremely quickly. And then right back there to F2. Or I'm sorry, 10-2. And that's using the F11 key. Let's say I need to go from my 10-2 back up to RTO. I'm done with whatever my task was. Hit F9 and I'm right back up there in primary RTO, guys. I hope this helped you guys out today. Um, if you have any questions, reach out, guys. You can find me on Discord. It'll be uh, in the Blue Mountain State RP. Discord uh, under uh, 404T Donor or look up uh, Northern Simulation. Uh, make a ticket and staff and they'll be happy to help point you in the right direction. All right, guys, thank you so much. And I hope this helps everybody and really elevates their RP.